tour of my closet. It's been a while. I feel like I have been remodeling this house with Nick since I was born. As you can see, our room was completely different. So my closet is now where our bed used to be, which is so crazy. Like that was Nick's idea to do that. And it was just the best idea because we're like, how in the world are we gonna fit all of our things in the one closet that's in here? So that was absolutely genius. We added an entire closet in there, framed it in, and um, it just turned out so great. So uh, today you get to see exactly how designing my own closet turned out. I still have some organizing to do. I still have not found a rug that I like for this space, but let me go ahead and show it to you guys. I partnered with Classy Closets for this closet. I went back and forth with different companies and I was so impressed by Classy Closets, how awesome it was to just walk into their office and shake hands right with the owner. He's there to answer any of my questions and special shout out to Danny for being patient with me with all my selections and everything like that. So many things were customizable, so many things they worked with us on, like I got a special countertop that I wanted. Um, they even like routed it out so I could put lighting in there and Nick did that for me. They also offer lighting that they do inside um, on the uh, ground. They do like they have so many awesome options. So I highly recommend it. If you are going to redo your closet, don't try and do it yourself and do like the plug and play online that you can do on some sites. Go in talk to them, get your closet all dialed out. I'm so happy that I did. Um, it turned out so great and I love it so much. Nick's closet, we were actually, he's like, oh no, I don't need like a closet or anything. And once he started seeing me design mine with them, he was like, okay, I think I want one. And so I'll show you his. Poor Nick isn't here to defend himself or clean up his closet. Um, it is a disaster, but I'll give you a quick look at the end. So you can see the lighting up here. So they can do that inside the cabinets for you. They can do it on the bottom down here. I think I might add that later, um, but this turned out so amazing. So we'll turn the light on. I was thinking about hanging a little chandelier in here too. I don't know, I didn't want to be too extra, but let me go ahead, flip the lights on and give you a bit of a tour. Okay, we will start back here. So I got a mirror here so I can kind of see a little bit of my outfit. And I went back and forth with how many drawers I felt like I wanted or needed. And I'm really glad I went with this because I feel like you can almost never have too many drawers. So these, these are just like PJs and stuff, but this is really cool because they have these jewelry inserts that make it super easy to organize um, your rings, earrings, however you decide to organize it. So that's pretty awesome. Over here, I probably need a little bit better of a solution for this. I'd actually like to get these out of here and use this for jewelry too, because that's what it's made for. So I need a creative way to organize these. I'm thinking maybe I'll put them in one of these cubbies over here. So what do you guys think? I also need to come up with a better solution to organizing my necklaces. This is just like not going to cut it. So let me know if you guys have any ideas for me there. Um, so we ended up putting windows up here to give natural light. I have windows like these in my house in Nashville and I absolutely love like how much light it brings in. So that was a really great idea that Nick had. And then over here, we have a couple more cubbies. I have some of um, Wyatt's stuff back here and I need to kind of finish organizing that. Currently, I have Wyatt's stuff in here. So I've got some shoe space here. And then these also, you can see with these dots over here, really easy to take one out. If you have taller shoes, make it skinnier if you only have like flats. So you see I can lower that right there and get like a lot more space out of this actually, which I might do because I have some sh more shoes that I need to put up here that are taller. Um, I opted for the glass. You can pretty much do glass in any of the cabinets that you want. You can do drawers. I just love how, how customizable it is. It's like a dream to like, just build and design your own closet it is for, for me anyway. So it was so awesome to be able to do that. Um, I've got Wyatt's clothes in here and some gym stuff. So I still need to like organize this and make it like look prettier, but 
it's it's coming along I up here I went for more glass I've got some little baskets in there hats are over here we've got some of Wyatt's clothes here and I think I do need to figure out my layout of clothing a little bit better I have like sets down here like little matching like you guys know this one I'm freaking always wearing that one that's a box of sex toys. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I swear my kids are gonna find their way into that and it's gonna be real awkward. Over here I've got some pants and these are some like gym outfits and shirts and kind of some of these like little guys. And what else? Then you go over here. I added a little hook back here for my robes. Up here this cabinet needs a little bit of help. I started storing some of my books in here because I thought it was like a good idea. Um, so I think I might add some more up there. Maybe a little plant in there to just make it look a little cuter. I've got a couple bags, which is nice because it prevents them from getting super dusty. This is a long hanging rack area. So I put like my dresses in here. And over here, I've got some hats. And I did more storage up here. They were like, some people don't do anything with that because it's just so high. But for me, I'm pretty tall so I can reach it. So I need to organize that a little bit better too, but it's just nice to have an extra space for like even more shoes. And then I've got some belts over here, skirts. I swear I haven't picked a skirt out of here and worn it in like a decade. Maybe I should get rid of all those. And then I've got shorts over here, like jean shorts and whatnot. And then over here, I did an entire thing of shoes. I have a lot of shoes. And can you believe that this is only like half of my shoe collection because the other half of it is in Nashville. And sadly, I need to go through this because lots of these shoes do not fit me, guys, because uh, my feet grew like a size and a half or two sizes after I had kids or during when I like during my pregnancy. It was pretty crazy. Um, oh yeah, sweaters and jackets. I've been trying to kind of keep this like a bit color coordinated because I just hate when I can't find stuff. Um, and that is the gist of the closet. I think it turned out super great. It like definitely exceeded my expectations. I definitely need a rug for in here. So if you guys happen to find one on Amazon, desperately need like a four by seven rug, but that just like doesn't exist. And I might just have to do like a four by eight. But if you see anything that you think would look good, I was, what do you guys think with the wallpaper? Nick added this onto the wall for me, by the way, which I think is super cute. I'll link the Etsy shop for you guys in the description box because I absolutely love the wallpaper that they offer. They had great customer service and it's like the peel and stick kind. So it's not like a forever kind of situation. It's probably a good thing because Nick definitely messed this up in a few spots. Don't look too close. Um, but yeah, I was thinking like either a mustard shag rug or like a cream. I grabbed a gray one and it does not look good in here. So it just doesn't work with the color scheme. So let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I'm super excited that I finally got to show this to you guys. It took a while for Nick to install the lighting up here. Um, like I said though, uh, they Classy Closets can do all of the lighting for you, but Nick wanted to try out his hand at doing a little bit of electrical work because he's been doing that a lot for us lately. So I think next he's probably gonna add it on the bottom, but Classy Closets also offers lighting on the bottom. You can even get it on the top of each of these, which is just baller. Like that would just be awesome. That would look so great and illuminate all these like little areas. So um, yeah, uh, another thing that I did in here that I wanted to mention that I thought I think looks really good is see the color I painted the wall. I did like a gray. I just think that the contrast between the white and the gray looks really good and you can see it through the cabinets here. I saw that on Pinterest and I definitely stole a page out of their book and did that because I thought it was a great idea. I think I'm actually going to get some extra ones of these because I'm realizing that I don't quite need as much high space here at the moment. So I'm going to get some of extra ones of these, I think, and just have them on hand so that I can kind of change this around as my needs change. But I just love the versatility of it. 
the idea that I like, cause first I was like, I don't really want any of these dots in here and go with the dots. Danny was like, do the dots. You're gonna appreciate it. The fact that you just like, you easily take these little pins out right here and you just um, pop them wherever you want them and you can easily move your shelves around to like whatever your needs may be. Whether it's like you're switching your wardrobe from summer to winter or you know, whatever, whatever. Whatever is going on, you can make it work for you. A huge thank you to Classy Closets for making this amazing closet. Um, before I leave, I'm gonna show you Nick's closet. He has no idea that I'm gonna show this to you. Sorry, I was just like purging my life out here. Um, Nick's closet, I'm gonna show you another feature that they offer. So this is Nick's closet. I designed this for him. We just have, we were just gone for a month. So his closet's actually usually not this messy, but um, I designed this for him. I knew that he had tons and tons of hats. So we added a lot of areas for his hats. I think he's actually gonna put some up here too. And um, he has a lot of books and he has a lot more shoes than he thought he did. So you can order um, more of these too if you need to, you know, if you decide you need more shoe storage. And let's see, this is actually a really cool feature. So this is the dirty clothes and you can easily just remove these bags and take them to the laundry room, which is great. So I really loved that feature and thought it was super great. He definitely wanted a countertop and this turns on, there we go, he did some lighting. So he definitely wanted a countertop, so he got this countertop and then he's got all of this space up here to put stuff. And he gets, he's a fireman, so he gets up before it's even light outside, so he's got some of his bathroom essentials in here. Can I show you something that just absolutely drives me insane? Why do men do this and does your husband do this? Okay, so all of my hangers that are empty, I keep on the side like this. He has them like in between clothes. Like, how do you find hangers that are empty when you need them? If they're just chilling between clothes, like, and it's just like, look at this, just like a random one, just right here. It drives me absolutely insane. Does your husband do that? Does it drive you insane? There you have it. That is my closet. This is like my happy space. I was also forced to clean it up to make this video, which was great because this has been a little bit messy. And with that being said, I'm gonna continue unpacking from our trip to Nashville. I don't know if you saw the vlog of us kind of like redoing and doing, adding some tile and stuff in the Nashville house, but that was a lot of fun. That vlog is a total fucking mess. But if you wanna see it, I will link it for you guys down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.